Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to access the configuration files of RPCS3 on the Mac operating system. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can access PlayStation 3 emulation through the Mac operating system through the Mac operating system using an emulator called RPCS3. I'll leave a link to my for my full tutorial on how to get the setup at the top of the description. So when you're running RPCS3, sometimes you like to be able to see where the files are being created or edited when you're making a change through the user interface. Also, you might want to see where games are being installed to onto the PlayStation Virtual Hard Drive. So the way to access this is to go and open up Finder. And then what we need to do is to press the Go button here. And I'm going to press the Option key here. And that's going to reveal this Library button here. So I'm going to click this now. And this is going to reveal our hidden settings area on the Mac operating system. Then what we're going to do is to find our application support folder and then double click. And then we're going to navigate to RPCS3. I'm going to double click on here. This is going to reveal the hidden settings of RPCS3. So for example, here we've got the config.yml. So if I press control click on config.yml and open with text edit, then we can see here all of the settings that correspond to the configuration menu here. And what I'm going to do is to quit out of RPCS3 and close this. I'm just going to show you that if I delete this and I open up RPCS3, then it's going to recreate that config.yml and should be the default settings. So all of those configuration files have been reset. You also find custom configurations per game and also the virtual hard drive as well. So you we can see where some game data has been installed. So it's all contained here within the application support folder. So this is not the only place that RPCS3 stores data. It also stores it in a cache folder. So I'm just going to show you how to access that now. So we're going to press the go button here and then press the option key again and click on library. And then we're going to go down to caches here. So I'm going to double click on caches. And then if we go down and find RPCS3 and expand this, then you'll find that we have a cache here. And this is the cache for all of the games, which is built whenever you load a new game. So you might find it handy to actually delete this occasionally. So if I control click and press get info, I can see here my cache is 300 megabytes. So that's space that you could get back if you're not playing some of those games. So this is a good location to purge every now and then if you need space or you're having issues running RPCS3. Equally, the RPCS3 folder within the application support folder we found earlier, you could technically just go ahead and delete all of these and that will do a full reset of RPCS3. Or if you're having specific issues, you can just delete the config.yml as we did earlier. If you're concerned about backing up, the main folder that contains your game data is the dev underscore hdd0. So this contains your game data and save games. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other Mac gaming and emulator tutorials on my YouTube channel. Please check it out. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.